Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to make a trigger button. So, first of all, let's come to our object. Let's add an object, sprite. Let's rename that button. Button. Let's add an animation. Click on that. Let's select that button, press um, blue button, and add another animation. And select your pressed button. Right. Let's put that into the scene. Now, to make this actually work, we need to um, go to our events. Let's add a new empty event. Now, here, collision. Now, player um, player blue is in collision with button. Let's add a force. Let's um, change the animation of button first. So animation of button animation of button let's set that to one. So when it's in collision it changes it to one. And also we need it um the jump through to move up. So in our game events, player blue is in collision with button force. Add a force. So jump through. I'm actually using jump through. So you can use whatever you want. Set on the x axis zero, on the y axis minus fifty. Instant. Okay. Again. Now here. So now player is in collision with it. It moves up. But we don't actually want it to go that high, we want it to stop after colliding with this. So, close. In game events, let's add a new empty event. And collision. Collision. Um, jump through. And in collision with tiled grass platform. Stop the object. And if you just stop, stop the object, jump through. And also, let's change the animation back of button. Animation. Change the animation of button back to zero. Okay. So, read that now. So when our character walks and is in collision with the button, it moves up and when it is in collision with the tiled grass platform, our button comes back to its original state. So that's how it's done.